Hi, it's Lily Amanda for Portrait Creatives. In this video, we are going to talk about how to pull back skin texture. Because it can be very tricky to pull back a realistic texture, so I highly recommend don't lose it from the first place. Texture is something we encounter every day in our lives. It doesn't matter if it's a fabric we wear or things we use, they all have some kind of texture. That's something embedded in our mind that we understand texture without talking about it or thinking about it. If you've ever been to a water park, you will know those slides are so smooth so everyone can go down very fast, right? And even if you want to stop in the middle of the way, it's almost impossible because it's just so smooth, no texture at all, right? And think about if you want to buy a running shoes or mountain climbing shoes or trekking shoes, you'll flip over to look at the outsole to see if there's enough texture, enough grip, so you'll feel safe with the shoes. So these are all the things that texture affects us in everyday life. It's the same goes with portraits. When portraits, when you see there's no texture over there, your brain starts to function like it doesn't look real and it looks fake. And that's our human brain would tell us these kind of message. Some people even dislike it. Like I don't like to see an image that has no skin texture because that reminds me a lot of dolls, you know, like the plastic dolls or Barbie, these kind, they have no skin texture. That's why when you do skin retouching, it's very, very important to be careful with the texture, okay? In case you encounter some problem like there is no texture on the skin, I'm going to show you two ways you can approach this. The first one is very quick. You just add some noise. And I've seen that a lot on Instagram, especially celebrities, that they are like over 40, over 50, over 60. What they do is they blur out all the skin with some kind of filter and they add grain, they add noise to make it look like have texture. I'm going to show you how to do it if you want to do the same effect. The second approach is we actually have to go and find some images with good texture with the same similar setup, similar angle of the face and similar lighting. We can copy just the texture of the image and paste on the image we want. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get into Photoshop. I have this image I download from pesos.com. And if you want to find some image, you can do the practice for retouching. I highly recommend you to go on pesos.com because they have so many different great images that you can practice actually. Okay, so this image I have done, just put back the texture. So I'm going to remove this one so I can demonstrate to you how that work. The first method is actually just add gray, add noise. So I'm going to duplicate this background layer, come on J, and then I'm going to filter, go into noise, add noise. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the side, you can see this more clearly. I zoom in to see the details. I would say it looks pretty good. Okay, like it really feels like there's more texture on the skin. It looks fine like this. It has to be monochromatic, otherwise you'll see different colors start popping out. Okay, like you see like a little bit green, magenta, some kind of color. But with this image, we would just use monochromatic. Okay, and Distribution is Gaussian. And amount, you just can see that's just too much, right? So you just put the amount that you like. For me, about five or six is pretty good. Okay, I will just go back to five and click OK. So that looks pretty good, right? And even distribution of the texture, all right? And that doesn't happen in real life, to be honest. So if we want to have a more natural approach, we actually have to use real skin texture. And I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to remove this layer. Let's have a look at this image of Kim. And I'm going to use this image to replace the skin texture of the previous image, okay? So we can see in zoom in, these textures are very realistic. This is from her skin, so of course it is realistic. How am I going to extract this texture from this image and paste on this image? 
you might think like, okay, this is a different angle, but I'm going to flip this image to horizontally. It will be just very close and just to matching the angle of the face. If you have seen my previous video about frequency separation, you'll know the method about how to separate texture and color and tone. If you haven't watched that video, I will leave the link in the description. Okay, so I'm going to run the frequency separation action. I'm just click on this frequency separation portrait creatives, and then I'm just go play. So it will pop up to ask me the figure I want. 10, too much. Okay, so let's see five. Five is pretty good, but I would go up a little bit to seven until I don't see any texture at all. I think that's pretty good. And so I click OK. So you will see there are two layers and one is texture, one is color and tone. And I'm going to copy and paste this texture. I'm just going to, you can hold it with this move tool and move it to here. That's one method. Or I can select all the image that's come on A and just copy and paste. Come on C, copy, and come here and add a new layer and come on V to paste that layer, okay? And remember the blending mode is linear light, okay? So you see some strange textures from that image, right? Still on this layer, and then we will need to flip this layer horizontally. So that's free transform, come on T, and then right click on the mouse, and then you select flip horizontally. So it's flipped. Okay, you can see one eye is over here, one eye is over here, right? So I'm just going to light up her eyes proximately and the lips also. Okay, I'm on transform, so I can just move like that. And apparently this image is, a uh, face is a bit bigger, so I need to make the texture image larger. So I will hold on shift key so it will remain the same proportion of the image without changing the proportion. So remember to hold on shift key, okay? And I just keep dragging it until I feel there's a similar size. Let me just go back slightly. Okay, about here. And her lips, let's see her lips is over here. So it's a pretty line up like this. And I'm going to hit enter. Right, so you can see there are some textures over here on her skin, right? You can see before and after. And I'm just going to line up a little bit more her nose here. And then I'm going to add a layer mask. And invert, come on I to invert it. So I have this black layer mask. I'm going to change to a brush B and opacity will set to 100. And flow is 100 smooth. We don't need any of that, just to zero. And I start to paint with white brush with some texture back, like that. Okay, and you'll see some hair also, it's over there. And we will take care of that. Don't worry about it. So you can see that's how you can put back realistic texture. It's about here. Then when you go to the edges of nose, etc., then we will have to be careful like here. That's the hair texture, right? So I'm going to come up to the list layer and then I'm going to use clone stem tool, right? I'm going to do a, have a similar brush size and I'm going to sample over here, hold on option key and just brush it. Oh, had to be current layer, see? So it's gone, it's gone, and it's gone. Okay, so you can do that with all the texture, with hair texture here. Okay, so that's how you can remove the unwanted texture and put back the parts you want. Okay. It's the same everywhere. I'm gonna select brush tool again, press D. It will come back to the default color of background and foreground color, okay? 
and shortcut X means swap the color, okay? So now I have the white brush and go on to the layer mask here. Make sure you click here and then I'm gonna brush over. Just add the texture to the skin, okay? So it looks much more realistic, right? And if you want to reduce the effect, you can always reduce the opacity. For example, if I go to 70% or 60%, it looks great, right? And the nose over here, I'm gonna paint a little bit more here with white brush. So you can see this is before, this is after. Put back some realistic skin texture. So this is just the demonstration of the two methods you can use to put back skin texture. If you have any questions, leave in the comment down below. If you find value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up and we will be uploading more helpful tutorials. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.